Hi, and welcome to uh, Golf with Board. My name is Board, and today I'm here with Paul Blakey. Hi, Paul. Hi. He's gonna help us how to hit a driver. I have a club from Callaway, uh, a Rogue ST Max. It's something that everyone wants to hit. The driver obviously is a status club. It's one that goes the longest. So mm. as a man, you want to hit it long. But I do want it in play. That's the most important. So yeah, you got to. Sometimes you got to sacrifice a little bit of distance by giving the club a little bit, a little bit more loft, a little bit easier, maybe a little shorter shaft. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's just personal preferences, but uh, get the ball in play is number one. Uh, Paul played on uh, the European Tour and Sunshine Tour. Yeah, I played mainly on the Sunshine Tour and the odd event on the, uh, on the uh, European Tour a long, long time ago. But uh, yeah, so I love the game, still do. Um, but the, the playing part is gone now. It's, now it's more about teaching and, and trying to find uh, ways to get people to improve and enjoy the game. And today, Paul is going to help me and you guys in a quick way how to hit a driver. So when it comes to driver, you obviously want to pick your target. That's where you're going to figure out, okay, where am I going to hit the ball? You pick your target, and from there you, you walk into the ball, you line up your club, because the club is the most, that's where you're aiming with. Mm -hmm. And then you set up your, you get your setup right. How you want to do it, that's up to you. Where you want to take your grip, that's up to you. I'm now set. Now yeah. the only focus I've got is my target. Yeah. You've got to have a routine. You've got to have the same routine every time you set up. Address the ball exactly the same manner every single time. Is that going to help me when I'm on the first tee and there's maybe 20 people around? Of course it is, because then you, you focus on what you're doing and not what's happening on the outside. And once you get your setup correct and you set up the same every single time, it's a lot easier to make the same swing every single time. But if you set up differently every single time, how are you going to make the same swing? You can't do it. If you watch the professionals, that's what they do. They block out whatever's happening outside um, and they go through their routine and they hit the ball. It's, it, it looks so simple, but it's not. You've got to actually work at it to get it right. Mm. And then your mind is focused on, on what you're actually doing and not what's happening out there and where the water is and where the bunkers are. You're focused on a specific thing and you do your thing and you pick your target and you hit it. Mm. Whether it works or not, whether you hit it in the water or you don't hit it in the water, that's, you know, that, these things happen. But once you, you've got a much higher chance of doing it, if you go through a routine and you focus on what you do. All right, I'm on the tee. Yep. What's recommended? Half a ball over? Yeah, roughly half a ball over. Everyone's slightly different. Some people are like, like especially I mean, if it's downwind, you probably want to tee it up a little higher, uh -huh. into the wind, maybe a little lower. The ball roughly inside around the heel? Correct. Inside, inside left heel, uh -huh. um, obviously right-handed. Um, and then your width of your stance, again, generally slightly wider than your shoulders with the driver because mm -hmm. you've got to try and keep your balance when you're swinging fast. You need a little wider stance than you do with, a, with an iron. And then you want to tilt the shoulders a little bit, not much, just a little bit. So you get the, the sort of left side a little higher than the right side. Mm -hmm. So that we're going to, you know, driver, you're going to try and attack the ball on the way up. So if you just tilt the, the body slightly, yeah, so you got that there and you want to keep generally the head also behind like that. That's good. And the club sort of pointing towards the middle of your, of your belly, not, not like, in front. No. Not like irons, no. to have it like there. Yeah, so you have the club face, your hands pretty much generally on the line of the club face. Hmm. Yeah. All right, cool. So that's it. That's the setup. By the way, on my team is Callaway Golf, Callaway Apparel and Dean Golf Racer. Callaway Golf. I don't even have to mention it, it's the biggest brand in uh, when it comes to golf. And uh, Dean Golf Race is Norway's biggest travel agency. How crazy is that on my team? If you're new to my channel, uh, my name is Bord and I'm a Norwegian golf vlogger. So if you like this kind of content, please uh, hit that like button and uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it would, uh, it would mean uh, the world to me. So to just have a summary, uh, Arms loose, Relaxed, down, yeah. shoulder width a bit. A bit wider than shoulder width. You can also open your feet like you've done, which mm -hmm. is you know, easier to rotate. Um, some people have them a little bit more square. That's a sort of personal preference. Um, yeah, and then uh, tilt the tilt. shoulders. Yeah. And yeah. then hit, imagine that I hit up, up on it. Yeah, while still moving the body through, correct, up and through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, awesome. Good. Then I have everything I need to have how to have a perfect setup. 
and it's up to me and my abilities. Yeah, I mean, obviously you've got to see exactly how the club 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 is working in the swing um, mm. and that and your angles and that sort of stuff. But your setup is 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 good. You've got a routine, so you've got that going. Mm. Now you've got to see. Okay, now have a look at the swing and see what what's happening there. Uh, if there's a major fault there, obviously the ball's not going to go where you want it to go. Again, you hung, hung back a little bit, didn't quite get through it. Club moves too much on the inside on the follow through and you get the big hook. Consistency. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, cool. Obviously, it's hard to hit a driver. It's not easy. But it's also one thing is also when, you, when you're picking your target, pick a small target. One tree, mm. not a big bunker. If you're going to aim at a bunker, aim at the right side of the bunker. A specific target. Because you aim small, you miss small. Mm. Aim big. Miss big. Miss big. What a fuck! That's a good one. Right. Okay, cool. Enjoy. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome. I hope it works for everyone else out there. It's uh, just some small little pointers. Um, just makes golf a little easier. Uh, it's a hard enough sport. So.